As grocery prices increase, more shoppers are becoming bargain hunters to save some cash on daily essentials. According to industry executives, customers are switching to lower price brands in frozen foods, cooking oil, and other items. Reports from the U.S. Labor Department show food prices have seen the largest increase since 2008. The SATs are going digital in the near future. According to the College Board, the college admissions test will soon be taken exclusively on a computer. The reformed SAT will also be shortened from three to two hours in length. The retooled SAT comes at a time when a growing number of colleges are eliminating the need to submit scores with an application. The monarch butterfly population appears to be on the rebound. The number of endangered western monarch butterflies overwintering in California has been counted at more than 247,000. That's after a year when fewer than 2,000 were recorded. Still, those numbers are far below what biologists say is needed for a full recovery of the species. Bob Dylan selling his entire catalog of recordings to Sony Music. Sony didn't disclose the price of the deal, but some estimate it could be worth about $200 million. Dylan and Sony have a long history dating back to 1961 when he signed with Sony's Columbia Records and recorded his debut record. Well, the supply chain crisis has gone too far, now affecting the iconic Girl Scout cookies. The Washington Post reports a mixture of high demand and COVID-related labor shortages has limited the supply of the Girl Scouts' latest cookie, Adventurefuls. Even though no one has tasted the brownie-like cookies yet, orders have been pouring in. One of the bakeries that makes them does not have enough employees to meet the demand. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.